teaching the meal prep series and today we'll be doing tomato paste a lot of people have asked me oh you don't use tin tomato sachet tomato what do you use and i tell them i make my own homemade tomato paste very easy very healthy and here's the thing most of the tin tomato and the sachet tomato we buy i hope you read the back there was a day i read it and i saw 30 percent tomatoes what is now the 70%? That was the day I stopped using it because I do not want preservatives in my body. So what you need is tomatoes, plain tomatoes, nothing else. Let's get started. This is my tomatoes. I'm not doing a lot now because I actually have available in the freezer. You need your blender because you're going to blend this. So. Let's put everything, the tomatoes, inside. I'm going to add a little water, not much. Close this up and blend. Yes my tomato is well blended you can see that at this point some people sieve theirs i don't bother sieving mine i want everything i i look at it that if you sieve it you are just wasting the water so let's now move here now for this i'm going to advise you it's not necessary but i'll advise you use a non-stick spot uh, sorry non-stick pot to stop it from burning because you are going to need to get the tomato as dry as possible this is a non-stick pot and what i'm going to do to help it i'll just spray a little oil not plenty the aim is not to fry the tomato is to coat the pot you can see that to give it extra coating to make it extra non-stick that is all then I'm going to pour my blended tomato inside. I've poured my tomato inside the pot. I'm going to leave that on fire and let it boil dry. When the water is getting down to the bottom, when it's about to, as if it's about to start burning, that's when I'll start stirring. But for now, just leave it, let it boil. Yeah, so my tomato paste has started drying up. This is the point where we start stirring you can see so just be giving it gentle stirs now and then now and then yes you can see i keep stirring to dry out the water very well but this is basically how you make your paste you see it has thickened the water has dried out so I'm just going to keep stirring and let it dry out a bit more, then I'll pack it up. Very simple. You see why I said you need to be careful with the burning? Can you see the edges? That's what happens, but you can see the bottom. Yes, so that's it. I'm just going to let it cool down and I'll pack it up. That's my tomato paste. You can see it. See how thick it is so you can just freeze this and use you can use it for your jollof rice your stew this is just small quantity because i actually have plenty in the freezer so but i did this to show you how to do it very simple very easy till next time again catch you on lagos housewife family kitchen ciao